Hello, water signs, sun, rising, moon, and Venus. Um, this is for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is your weekly reading from January 12th to January 18th. And I'm doing things differently this week. I'm doing a pick a card. So what I want you to do at this time, and keep in mind this is a general reading, you know, take what resonates, leave the rest behind. It may not be for you. Um, check out your other signs as well. Anyhow, pause the video for a minute if you need to. Concentrate on these stacks. This is stack one, stack two, stack three. And go ahead and pick your stack. I will have the time stamps in the description box below so that you can go jump right to your reading. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to start with stack number one. I have not looked at these cards, so let's see what we have here. Uh, let's adjust this view a little bit. Okay, that's better. Okay, let's see what we have. Okay, um, let's start out with this card, Believe in the Impossible, Blue Moon. So, this is telling me that if there is something that you've been hoping for, wishing for, doesn't seem like it's going to happen, maybe you feel like that there is no way possible for the situation to work out the way that you want. It feels like that there's no hope. Um, this card is saying, believe the impossible. Believe in it. You know, miracles are working in your favor here right now, my friends. And we have, next we have, and we have the Daughter of Swords. This is somebody keeping a watchful eye. Uh, we have the Five of Pentacles reversed. Um, this here is saying that, you know, I feel like you're getting news that's coming through. This is, um, this is communications, new communications. Something, sometimes people think that this is harsh communications, but I'm feeling like this is actually communications that you were, you've been waiting on that is going to turn things around for you because i'm getting the image here that somebody maybe maybe this is um financial here that somebody feels like you know how am i going to make ends meet okay this could be an official job app uh, job interview or job offer or some kind of offer coming through that is going to help turn things around here for you my friends and we have the Judgment reversed, and we also have the Three of Cups reversed. Mm. So what I feel really is that there may have been some bad decisions in your choice of friends or people you kept company with. Uh, there could have been a false friend, and that... There might have been gossip. Okay. I'm seeing here that there might have been gossip that has gone on that may that may have left you um out in the cold even. Maybe this these are friends that abandoned you and poor judgment and friends that caused you to lose something. Um for some of you this might have been somebody 
spying and watching you who really did not have your best interests in mind. And there may be some bad judgment calls there that left a situation where it's at. However, you're coming out of this. You're coming out of this feeling of lack, this um, loss of friendship, okay? Because of a bad decision that may, that you, a bad judgment call, maybe a poor decision that you may have made, um, but there's some help. I feel like there's somebody that's going to reach out and help you, and things are going to work out. When you think that things are impossible, they're going to work out for you. And we have here, flanking these cards also, we have flow. This is, this is the Wheel of Fortune. This is stating that, you know, things are turning around. Things are turning around for you, my friends. Okay? And this is the Six of Cups. So this may do be dealing with children. You could be dealing with a father figure. Um, a parent situation or child situation. But... I'm feeling like the need to go with the flow. Let spirit do its work. The universe has control right now. Okay. And we also have here. Fairy of the fine hand. So. <laughs> yeah. I think there may have been some bad judgment calls. As far as. A poor decision that may have. This is, um, I'm feeling as though, like this is saying about, um, distorted view or overindulgence. I feel like maybe there was some overindulgence. Maybe there was some drinking or something like that. It may involve the law. This could be a police officer. For, this is not for everybody, this part of it. Um, and maybe there was a DUI or something. You think that everything is hopeless. But um, the Spirit is saying that there is hopeless. The, the Divine has His hand in it. Okay. Um, so, yeah, there might have been some overindulgence of some sort. But with the Divine hand here, I am feeling as though the Divine is intervening for you. Okay. Um, so with this situation, the bottom line is that there was a bad judgment call. There was a poor decision that was made, probably hanging out with the wrong crowd that led to maybe feeling out in the cold, maybe alienating family members or alienating your children or parents. Okay. And I think that this is a way, this was what a wake up call. And the universe is intervening. Um, the divine is sticking their, his hand down, his or her hand. Whoever you believe in, whether it's God, goddess, the, the great divine, Buddha, whomever. Okay. And they are working things out the way that they're supposed to. And when you think that all hope is gone, that... Really, there isn't. You have to believe in the impossible. Things are going to work out. And um, I, and the love card is to stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking, faith will bring you romance. So your romance card, your romance part of this is staying optimistic. You know, there may have been, maybe, the, and for some of you, there might have been a false friend that intervened in a relationship, even. But I do feel as though the divine is working with you this week. And things are going to be looking up. You have to think positive, whether it's concerning a love relationship or this situation here. Whatever the situation is, whatever that bad decision that you made, it is being rectified. I feel as though you've learned a lesson. 
I, this was definitely a learning experience. You had a lot of time to think about it. And the, and it's not as things are not as bad as they appear is what spirit is also telling me. Okay. So that's what we have for pal number one. Now we're going to move on to pile number two. Let's see what we have with pile number two. Full moon in Aquarius. Show the world the real you. That is stating to me, stop pretending to be um, someone that maybe um, you're not. I am. There is an extra card in pile number one. There's only supposed to be three cards of these. Anyhow, this is about being authentic. Being your real true self. Two of Cups reversed. Two of Pentacles reversed. There's definitely somebody's delaying making a decision. The High Priestess. Oh, a decision may have been made. Somebody used their intuition and a connection. These are not supposed to be reversed. Finding balance. Two of Pentacles again. We got a ton of twos here, my folks. A bunch of twos. We have one, two, three. I mean, three, four twos here. Wow. Wow. Okay, we got some strong messages here. I feel like this is totally about relationships. Okay. Um, what I feel with this card is that somebody um, that was trying to be somebody that they're not. Somebody was trying to be a people pleaser. You might have been dealing with an Aquarius. Um, it is a very, with a full moon, it is an emotionally charged situation. And full moon is also about release. Okay. I feel like this is a, a need to release part of yourself, okay? A need to release um, something that is no longer working for you. Um, and going with the next card over with the Two of Cups reverse, this is, de this is definitely feeling like a split. Okay, um, a split of a relationship, a relationship that is not working out, a relationship that is not serving its purpose anymore. Um, I feel like there's been disagreements and arguments. Um, I feel like somebody may have been really too much in their head. And somebody really needs to get in their heart space right now. And, the, and a situation that you're in is going to take a very unexpected turn, I feel. But it starts with being you, being yourself. 
there are some with the high priestess i feel like that there were some things that were hidden from you but it's also this is also about using your intuition and trusting your instincts i feel like with the high priestess that you felt that there was something wrong and i feel like you were teetering back and forth go going back and forth trying to find that balance Okay, we have the two of pentacles reverse and the two of pentacles upright. And I feel like this is like a back and forth type of thing. Going back and forth between the decision. Do I stay? Do I go? Do I stay? Do I go? Right? And I feel like somebody needs to tap into that intuition. Tap into that gut feeling. If it doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. Okay? It... I, and that's the energy that I'm getting. Okay. And I feel as though that maybe there is a decision making. Somebody has a chance to move on because we have romantic feelings here. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So I, I'm going to go on to say that. Um, and so refusing to see. I feel like that there is a new romantic opportunity in front of somebody's eyes and somebody is failing to see it not wanting to see it okay their head is down they're not seeing that opportunity that is ahead of them okay and that, this is two of air um, it's like the two of swords somebody's being very blocked off to the possibilities because somebody's still dwelling on a situation that is done and over with that somebody needs to make the final decision to move on to restore balance. Somebody needs to trust their intuition. Trust their gut. Okay. And we have um, mending a broken heart fairy here. And the, she's here to try to mend that. It's time to heal. It's time to heal my folks. My friends. It is time to heal. Because you have a new opportunity in front of you. Okay. You really do. And I feel as though there is a need to, you need to try to explore that a little bit. Um, it's like, I feel, I can almost see the card of give this, give it a chance. You know, I keep hearing give it a chance. Because, because this person that is coming in, or they may already be there. I feel like they're already there because... Somebody's not seeing it. Somebody's not recognizing it. But this person that's coming in could be the one that heals that broken heart. And you could be yourself. You could be your true self with this person. But you need to leave the past in the past. You need to move forward. You need to move on. Embrace the unknown. Take that chance. Let your heart heal. And I feel like this person, I do, I honestly feel this person can be the one that helps you mend that broken heart. And restore a balance. Okay? Restoring balance within your heart, within your life. I'm seeing here, this is, this is um, earth energy here. But I'm seeing the heart chakra as well because I'm being drawn to the green here. Uh, so I'm feeling bringing balance, bringing that heart chakra back into balance. You just need to open your eyes and see it. I think you know it's there, but you just, maybe, you're choosing not to see it is what I feel like. And there's a lot of twos in here. Twos are about balance. Twos are duality. Twos are partnerships. And twos are balance. So this is definitely a body partnership. Okay. And so this is, and um, so these are the messages that I have for pile number two. Give this new love a chance. Let your heart heal from this past situation. And if you would like further view, um, I'm going to finish uploading them. But um, I have a, my Patreon is up and running. 
I have half of the Zodiac up. I'm going to get the rest of them up today. Go over there. Uh, become a Patreon. It's simply just $5 a month. And I'm going to be putting a lot of videos up there. But there's an extended reading broken down each sign by sign. They're love readings for this upcoming week. Okay. Just want to put that out there. So we that so that was pile number two. And we are gonna go on go ahead and move on to pile number three. Let's see what messages we have in pile number three. Energy, waxing moon. Again, energy is gaining momentum. <coughs> Something's going um, full speed ahead. <coughs> Seven of swords. There's a sly fox. <coughs> this could be uh, ten of pentacles reversed. And I just heard the message of sometimes you have to think like a fox to outsmart a fox. Mother of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an earth sign. Awaiting results. Seven of Pentacles. Ace of Water, this is Ace of Hearts, Ace of Cups. It did show up reverse for some reason. Um, so I'm, I am going to keep that in mind. Reconciliation. And we also have the Lantern Fairy. Okay. For pile number three, there is definitely something gaining momentum here. And it, uh, it could involve a mother or could involve an earth sign. Um, this is the queen of pentacles or mother of pentacles. Um, this is somebody who's very abundant, who's very motherly, who takes care of things. And with the ten of pentacles here, this is a family unit. This is the family legacy. Um, this, is a fam this is heritage here. Um, we have a fox. Uh, there could be something dealing with a mother. Something may not be quite right. There may be some lies and deception involving a mother. They have to watch out for. Because it's going to upset the family. Whatever this is. Okay. If, whether you are the mother and there's somebody that you're dealing with. That cannot be trusted. That could be a child. Um, but I do feel that there's some confusion around. The, the fox, when you, think, when you think of the old adage, uh, when you think of a fox through the movies or sayings or whatever, a fox is also resourceful. A, so a fox is cunning, clever. You have this um, earth sign here, possibly. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But there's going to be like an upset within the family stability, the family structure, legacy. You know, it's the... It's there's like a the stability is gone, and I feel as though that has to do with somebody interfering 
And Spirit is showing me that sometimes to combat this, you have to think like they do. You have to, but you have to be more clever. I know I'm speaking to somebody. You have to be more clever than the fox is trying to outsmart you. This could also be a mother also trying to protect her children and the mother playing the part of the fox will being drawing upon her resources, being very clever and resourceful to try to protect her young. That's for some. For some of you, it's a prominent female. You might have an earth sign who is interfering in your uh, stability, in your security. Your security might be threatened by this earth sign who is very clever and cunning. I'm just saying it like I see it. And things are speeding up. So it, it feels like it might be in little things here and there, but it, someone is gaining momentum here. And to keep the upper hand, you have to think like them. You have to pretty much outsmart them. <laughs> um, and it's kind of funny. We see reconciliation over here. You know, there might be an interference threatening an insecurity because there could be a somebody trying to interfere who wants a reconciliation. Or this could be somebody interfering in your plans of reconciling with someone. Okay, and we have awaiting results here, Seven of Pentacles. This is something that's been, that is deeply rooted. I am feeling very much family tree here, okay? I'm feeling very much something deeply rooted. Um, and somebody's been waiting for a, quite a while. And with the Ace of Cups here, or, or Hearts, you know, we have, I feel like a new start, a reconciliation on the horizon. This could be reconciliation with a ex-husband or a lover. And this could also be a reconciliation with a family member. This does not have to be romantic. I feel like I need to stress that. It might not be romantic. But I feel like it's something within the, a family situation that there's interference. And somebody is trying to outfox another. And then we have... A clear solution, the Lantern Fairy. I feel as though there's going to be something be re being revealed. There's going to be something that comes out of the darkness. and comes into the light. Two and four is six. Whatever this clear solution is, is going to bring harmony. It's going to bring stability back. So there's definitely a very much this week an instability within the home or family. It could be your immediate home. The four walls that you reside in, or it could be extended family around you. But there's definitely an upset in the family. There, uh, there, this could actually be a family feud. A family feud that was a result of some kind of betrayal. Lies and deception. And it really gave, that was really growing. And... As it goes, it's getting bigger and bigger. I feel like it's going to come to a head this week. And the results... Ha! Huh, the answer that you've been waiting for is coming this week, I feel. If, you, if there's something that you've been wanting to know about, um, I feel like the answer's coming this week. There is going to be some light shed on something. That involves... Matters of the heart, the emotions, like I said, it can be romantic or it can be between siblings or parents and children, you know, within, I feel, I definitely feel within the family. 
okay? But there seems to be a new start. Like I said, originally this came out reversed. So this could have been like, I feel like family quarrels, an upset in a relationship that actually could bring about this week could show some results. The answer that you've been waiting on um, and light being shown off, coming out of the darkness, the solution being right in front of you could, all, could lead to a reconciliation with someone. So, yep, whatever this quarrel was, it can lead to a reconciliation. So I do feel like, I, I feel competition for some reason. Because I kept, I keep going back to this fox, not just the source, but the fox itself, of clever as a fox. You, it, to outsmart a fox, you have to think like the fox. You have to be resourceful. And that's what I'm feeling here, folks. So this is my reading for my water signs. I do thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.